the Phoenix Conglomerate, the sword Hien, was supposed to be passed on to the rightful owner Murasame, but due to his lack of talent as a shinobi, the sword Hien was passed on to Ikaruga. What is up you guys, Bankai X Tensho here, bringing you Ikaruga's backstory. Welcome to Senran Discussions, where we discuss everything Senran Kagura related, backstories, whichever you want. Pretty much the future of Senran Kagura, and to be honest, no one really does any of these discussions for Senran Kagura, which is why my channel is here to tell you everything is going to be okay. Let's get this shit started. Murasame, Ikaruga's new older brother, was a failure as a shinobi. Due to his lack of talent, he was unable to have Hien and he was unable to be heir to the Phoenix Conglomerate. Because of that, Ikaruga was the one next in line. She was an exceptional shinobi and because of that, Hien was given to her. The orders from her father, the orders from her adoptive father, were to never let anyone take Hien. Murasame, Ikaruga's big brother, basically tried to take Hien. The sword passed now. Let me let me get started with what Hien is. Hien is basically the sword passed down to the Phoenix Conglomerate family. I, I mean I want to say Phoenix Clan, but that's what that's what they call it. That's what the clan has been called, the Phoenix Conglomerate. The sword is basically the sword basically goes to the heir of that person that will carry on the family business and everything. Ikaruga is the one next in line. The only thing is she was adopted into this rich family. They call this rich family, they also call this rich family the um Hoduo, the Hoyuo um corporation. Which was a, which was also in, I think it was also the rival of, um, I think it was also the rival of the Wolf Conglomerate, I think. I, I think the Tyro Corporation, yeah, the Tyro Corporation was, um, Murakumo's, was Murakumo's rich family, I think. Yeah, the Tyro Corporation, I think they called it the Wolf Conglomerate or whatever. Um, but Murakumo's backstory, I'm definitely gonna get to. Um, and I think I'm gonna do that one probably after I do Ikaruga's backstory. But let me continue. He and his sword passed down to the Phoenix Conglomerate. Like I said, Murasame's lack of talent as a shinobi, he was not able to have Hien and he was not able to be heir to the family or carry on the business. And because of that, Murasame was so pissed off, he held, he held resentment towards Ikaruga. He hated her so much. He was like, literally the only thing he kept yelling was, why should an outsider like her like why should an outsider like her even have he in because honestly it's supposed to be it, it's supposed to be like the, the, the person that the person that basically has he in is supposed to be part of that family like, supposed to be through blood but i mean i don't even know how it works but ikaruga like they had no choice because their because their son was basically a failure as a shinobi so ikaruga was um this was basically a relative thing like i think a long distant relative of the um of the phoenix conglomerate um, because of that, the long distant relative, I think they had Ikaruga or whatever, and later on they chose Ikaruga because of that. So like, if this was like through a long, this was like through a long relative that they adopted Ikaruga. So pretty much later on, like, because it's because they saw Ikaruga's skills as a shinobi. They saw something in Ikaruga as a shinobi that they basically adopted her. Basically due to that, like due to Ikaruga, due to Ikaruga having Hien and all that stuff, due to Ikaruga being the heir and everything, um, like I said, Murasame hated Ikaruga, but Ikaruga was also a different person back in the day. She was a different person when she first came to Hanzo, and you guys already know how it was at the start, way before Asuka and Hibari and Yagyu even joined Hanzo and all that stuff. It was just Ikaruga and Katsuragi, and they didn't get along at first. Like, Katsuragi was Katsuragi always being the nice person that she always is, just ropes pretty much anyone any female with big tits the moment like you know but Ikaruga was Ikaruga wasn't there to make friends like literally that's all you could see in Ikaruga's in, in Ikaruga's expression she was pissed and all that stuff because she felt guilt and all that stuff she felt guilt and all that stuff because she took her because she believes that she took her brother's dream away she believes she believes that she took her uh, like she believed that she took her big brother's dream away of you know of carrying on the family business and all that stuff this is basically what you guys see right now is basically an image from the anime because in the anime we do get one scene of munasame being shown but that's only in the flashback of where he meets his uh adoptive sister ikaruga so that's pretty much the flashback we only see Murasami in and now to be honest i thought they wouldn't really like in the samurai kagura anime they they showed some flashbacks but not all flashbacks are really explained and all that stuff so honestly i didn't know about it back then but you know, later on, I pretty much knew when I played Shinobi Versus for the first time and all that stuff, so, um, pretty much. But, yeah, it's it's good we actually got an image 
from the anime, like a snapshot from the anime. Um, it's good we got to see at least Murasami shown in at least the anime, even though it's like a flashback, but big deal. But because of that, because Ikaruga believed that she, because she believed that she took her big brother's dream away, she basically had her own type of pissed off personality, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything towards her brother. It was basically just, I don't know, it was probably towards herself because like I said, she felt a lot of guilt, but it also, you know, it also turned her into something that, you know, into an angered kind of character. And because of that, she, she wasn't there. She wasn't at Hanzo to make friends or any of that. And she basically pushed those away from her. She pushed Katsuraki away from her at first, but you know, getting to know Katsuraki better, she later on changed after that, and all her guilt and everything to her, towards her brother and all that stuff later on just disappeared. The the pissed off Ikaruga we knew back then was gone, and the Ikaruga we know now that we always see cheerfully laughing and all that stuff with Asuka and the others is, you know, the person we know now. Ikaruga. I mean, let me let me let me just let me go let me go with Murasame at first. Murasame, I never to be honest, there's two things I feel towards Murasame. One is that I hated Murasame and one is that I was and two was that I was kind of like the two things that one I kind of hated Murasame and two I kind of felt bad for him too cuz you know, back then I was that kind of person who was, you know, sometimes sometimes a little bit a failure at everything but I didn't I didn't I wasn't pissed off about it I just kept going until I did better man and I ended up bypassing all that stuff and just you know being better at certain things man look at me now man um I'm working my ass off and making a lot of money bro and you know I've got the perfect quit I got the perfect equipment and everything for my channel and all that stuff when it comes to anime gaming and everything and I'm just doing fine man and I'm about to hit 2,000 subscribers soon man thanks to all y'all but um I kind of, like I said, I kind of feel for Murasami. I kind of feel for him and don't feel for him at the same time. I hate him. I hate him mostly because you shouldn't be that way to your new adoptive sister and all that stuff. And you honestly shouldn't be treating her like shit and all that stuff. And Burst Renewal, let me let me start off with Burst Renewal, basically. And I think this also showed in Burst 2. But basically there was, you know, there was the, you know, the art illustration and all that stuff. The regular talk and everything like that, the, where the words pop up and everything. And, you know, during the food eating contest and all that stuff, where Murasami was also there. Murasami was also there along with Ikaruga. And, um, <clears throat> you know, Ikaruga was saying, Nisama, are you alright? Or Nisama, brother, brother, are you alright? And then Murasami said, um, Murasami said, don't touch me. Um, I think he said something like, um, you're not my sister or something like that. Don't touch me. You're not my adoptive sister or something like that. I, I don't know. You'll see it on the snapshot or something like that. You'll, you'll pretty much see it on there. But um, basically, you he, you hearing him call her that is basically like you basically hearing you basically hearing Murasame call her that means that Murasame does not accept Ikaruga. He didn't accept Ikaruga at the start, and he always pushed her away. He never like because he he. Basically, he's basically jealous of Ikaruga in a kind of way. He doesn't like Ikaruga mostly because she, you know, mostly because she took his dream away and all that stuff. And he, like, Murasame wanted he and so badly. Although he was a failure as a ninja, like, one thing he is good at is, you know, chain sickling as a ninja, I guess. So that's something good. He plays third place, I think. I think he's, he said he plays third or sixth or whichever in the, um, the chain, the sickle chain or, sa or chain sickle, um, tournament or whichever i forgot but um now i'm gonna explain burst renewal and shinobi versus because burst renewal and shinobi versus show it in two different ways <clears throat> so i'll start off with burst renewal first because that one was during the heavy joe arc with you know hanzo versus heavy joe so let me start it off like this basically murasame shows up at hanzo because let's let me let me also i, I don't know if i forgot to mention this but let me let me mention it right now <clears throat> basically Ikaruga and Murasame's rich family, basically the Phoenix Conglomerate, and I, I know I should be saying Phoenix Clan, but that's literally what it's called, Phoenix Conglomerate. Basically, the Phoenix Conglomerate is what pays for Hanzo. The reason why they pay for Hanzo is mostly for Ikaruga, not nothing else. They pay for Hanzo, I think, well, not just because of Ikaruga, but their corporation is involved with Hanzo. Their corporation is involved with Hanzo in many ways. Their corporation is known as the Hoyuo Corporation. I don't know if I said it before, but that's what it's known as, the Hoyuo Corporation. If you're familiar with the Tyro Corporation, which is where Murakumo's, um, Murakumo is from, with the Wolf um, Conglomerate, 
basically the wolf clan or something like that those two those two corporations are famous as fuck they're, they're basically clans and all that stuff the phoenix conglomerate and the wolf con conglomerate so you know the whole uo corporation and the tyro corporation and ikaruga and murakumo have talked between each other before through their corporations and all that stuff and ikaruga knows who murakumo is from the past and all that stuff because of you know he saw she saw her when she was a little girl and all that stuff so their corporations have crossed each other before so what i'm trying to say is the whole uo corporation is involved with hanzo they put a lot of money towards hanzo which is why mura which is no no which is why murasame was able to get into hanzo all he has to do is say the family name and boom he could go into hanzo because like i said the whole uo corporation is paying towards hanzo basically not just for well i can you can tell they're probably paying for more of ikaruga too but definitely more of hanzo but <clears throat> let me continue murasame comes into hanzo and sees sees ikaruga again what happens is that this is where he tries to steal hien he says an outsider is not supposed to take hien is not supposed to possess hien and all that stuff is not supposed to take hien so because of that like you know murasami is always saying that the sword rightfully belongs to him and yes the truth is it does rightfully belong to him but due to his lack of talent as a shinobi he was not able to grasp hien so it's basically like inuyasha like or shishomaru shishomaru tried to grab the tetsaiga but the tetsaiga kept rejecting him at first it literally kept it literally messed up his um hand and all that stuff so i don't think it would be like that in saron kagura but he wouldn't have the strength he wouldn't have the strength required to have he in so because of that you know the sword was passed on to ikaruga so what happens is murasame saying the sword rightfully belongs to me so he faces off against any he faces off against ikaruga and is caught into an illusion and you know this is the one in burst renewal by the way like i said burst renewal and shinobi versus have different parts of this so the first part right here is where <clears throat> is where Murasame talks to Ikaruga, like I said, just like in Shinobi Versus, but this right here says that, and this is the same in Shinobi Versus as well, because Murasame is supposed to be graduating from college, I believe. I mean, he's a good, he's a good smart student and all that stuff, and from what we hear, he's smarter than Ikaruga. Ikaruga is the class rep, but Murasame is a bit smarter than Ikaruga, but he's going to be graduating from college. And like I said, Burst, I'm going to say this right now, Burst Renewal does not give that much detail towards Ikaruga's, um, towards the talk between Ikaruga and Murasame. I think Shinobi Versus gives more detail. But with that, Murasame uses the chain sickle and catches Ikaruga, but is later on caught into an illusion. And with that, Ikaruga Ikaruga takes the um activates the Hanzo trap and Murasame falls into that trap. And that's pretty much it after that. Ikaruga is crying as well. Ikaruga is crying as well and um this one was a beautiful ending after that. This one was a beautiful ending after their um <clears throat> after what happened. Ikaruga was crying, and that's when Asuka and them show the family tree. And it's cute because it's cute because you know Ikaruga felt a lot of guilt and all that stuff, and she just felt nothing but tears of regret and res and well tears of regret and just nothing but sadness and all that stuff because she felt bad for her brother, you know. But. I'm gonna mention the stuff in, I'm gonna mention the stuff in, um, oh yeah, also, like I said, she felt tears and all that, like, she felt sadness and everything like that when she was crying, but after seeing the family tree and everything like that, you know, she's, she's back to, she's back to being good old Ikaruga. Now, Shinobi Versus happens a bit differently, though. Shinobi Versus is basically, <clears throat> what Shinobi Versus shows is, once again, Ikaruga and Murasame going at it. Murasame says other things in this one too, and I don't think I heard these in Burst Renewal. So if I, if you guys did hear them in Burst Renewal, say that to me, and you know, say that in the comment section if you did. But in Shinobi Versus, Murasame talks to Ikaruga and says that he's been taking this class or whatever. I think something, something where he basically wants um, something where he basically <clears throat> wants to get along with his sister. Basically, I think it says how to get along with your sister or how to get along with others how to communicate with others or how to communicate with your sister or something like that but you know murasami was taking that class because the truth is shinobi versus kind of did, did it a bit did, like it did it a bit better than burst renewal the reason why is i know like what i'm trying to say is like even though like <clears throat> what i'm trying to say is burst renewal you know burst renewal um 
Ikaruga was not able to get along with, Mu with Murasame. But Shinobi Versus shows the first sign, like the first step towards getting along with Murasame. And what happens is that, yes, they do go at it with each other. <clears throat> but after the fight, like I said, Murasame was crying a bit. Murasame like showed more showed more sadness in this one than in Burst Renewal. So like I said, he was saying like he was trying to take these lessons or whatever on how to basically communicate with your sister or communicate with others and everything like that. And you know, Ikaruga does not doesn't really say that much shit. She just says congratulations or something like that or that's good or whichever. Like what can Ikaruga say? It's just gonna make Murasame pissed off more. But he starts crying and all that stuff and something like I hated you and all that stuff and it should have been me that had he in and not you. But then what he said at the very end after after he was defeated by Ikaruga was my dear sister, my dear sister, um, please carry on my dream as a shinobi. And he just walks out. In Burst Renewal it basically shows Ikaruga activating the Hanzo trap and Murasame just falling down after that, falling down that trap falling out of Hans falling out of Hanzo Academy but in Shinobi versus she does not activate the trap she, um, Murasame basically walks out of Hanzo himself he walks out of Hanzo himself instead of getting you know getting like getting in a trap like in burst renewal so you know burst renewal and Shinobi versus kind of just did it different ways but I think Shinobi versus kind of did it a bit better but that's when Ikaruga picks up um a note or something like that and it was basically how to get along with your kid's sister or something like that. And it brought tears to Ikaruga's eyes. <clears throat> so, I kind of think that Shinobi Versus kind of did it much, like, much, much better than Burst Renewal. Because Burst Renewal was all like, fuck this shit, we're just gonna put Murasame in a, in a, in a trap and shit and just forget about him after that. But Shinobi Versus shows the first step. The first step towards, <clears throat> it shows the first step towards, um... Ikaruga getting along with Murasame a little bit because Murasame wanted to change. He wanted to change and be a better person mostly. He wanted to change and be a better person and be nice to Ikaruga. So it's kind of like the whole relationship, the, well, the whole related thing with um the whole the whole sibling sibling or cousin relationship between um Hinata and <clears throat> Hinata and Neji. Not the kind, not that kind of relationship. Just basically the the type of family relationship mostly where you know where Hinata where basically Neji did a lot of crazy stuff in the tuning exams and Neji just almost beat the crap almost beat the crap out of Hinata in the tuning exams prelims and what happened was later on Neji and Hinata are just friends later on after that after Naruto beats Neji and stuff and beats the light well beats the truth out of him and everything like that and you know Neji and Hinata are you know they're just regular cousins and all that stuff and he and neji has no problems anymore towards the towards the main branch and everything like that so i guess you could say that was it was basically kind of like that except ikaruga was the strongest one though ikaruga was the strongest one though but through the talk and all that stuff that they had and everything and murasame just crying and all that stuff i kind of felt bad for him and like i said i feel for murasame i feel for murasame a lot because i used to be that way back then but look at me now i'm different than before but you know, after all that, let's go on ahead to let's go on ahead to maybe burst renewal. No, no, sorry, we already did burst renewal. Let's go on ahead to Peach Beach Splash. Peach Beach Splash shows some parts of the cutscene where Yukaruga is on the phone with Murasame and they're talking and everything like that. And as you can see, when when we're on Peach Beach Splash, it's it shows that you know Yukaruga and Murasame are just. You know, which shows that Murasame loves Ikaruga and they're no longer having problems and all that stuff. Like Murasame isn't showing, Murasame isn't really showing any resentments or anger towards her, um, retort towards his sister and all that stuff. And you know, the, 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 the sibling relationship between them is fine now. So they're no longer, you know, Murasame no longer has a problem towards Ikaruga and Ikaruga's guilt and all that stuff is, you know, her problem with the family and all that stuff is gone now. It's it's completely gone now. So in Peach Beach Splash, you know, the whole brother and sister thing is just working out fine now. And there's no problem. So all the way to New Link and everything like that. And the rest of the games after Peach Beach Splash, same old thing. So, you know, because Ikaruga was talking on the phone with Murasame. And, you know, they're just fine now. The, relation, the, the sibling relationship between them, the family relationship between them is just fine now. So that's pretty much it. Um, 
That's basically Ikaruga's backstory. I hope I explained a lot. It was a little bit hard for me to explain some certain things because um, I never really looked into Ikaruga back then. I, I did focus on every character's backstory and all that stuff, but there's some characters that I really need to, you know, look into more. So, hope I was able to uh, clarify a little bit of things for you guys. And, you know, the sword of, you know, Ikaruga's sword that was passed down to her passed down to her family how she was adoptive to that family and all that stuff so other than that you guys this is center on discussion this is your boy bonkai x tensho um also you guys i'm gonna try putting up a poll i'm gonna try putting up a poll for um for the next center on conquer discussion but it's gonna be after fubuki's backstory because i was given a request by um by a friend slash subscriber who is new to center on Kagura who was new to Senran Kagura and wants to know more about Senran Kagura because he also requested the Yumi backstory which I already did so if you haven't checked that out check it out right now I recommend you uh check it out now he all he, he like he requested the Yumi backstory and he also requested um the Fubuki backstory which I have to work on next but the Ikaruga backstory leading up to now that's the one I decided to do other than that you guys it is your boy Bankai Extensio signing out this is Senran Discussions, everything Senran Kagura related, backstories, the future of Senran Kagura, you name it. Later.